Yo, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Mostly Sports Talk. I'm your host, Clarence. In today's episode, I want to talk about Mr. Scotty Pippen. But before I start, make sure you like, share, uh, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Hit the notification bell so that you are aware of all of my latest content. Now let's get on with today's topic. Oh, man, I really didn't want to do this, and I'm kind of late on this topic, but then again, he keeps making these headlines, and I wasn't going to comment at all, but I haven't really seen anybody really take it to where I'm going to take it in today's episode. Uh, Not on Fox, not on ESPN, I haven't seen any of the talking heads really uh, bring this up. Everyone seems to be more focused on just the basketball, or if he's right or wrong for going at Jordan or whoever else he's trashing in this book. Now, let's be clear. Pippen has the right to tell his story as he sees fit. I have no problem with that. If he wants to clarify how he experienced things, cool. Got no problem with that. More power to him. No point in discussing the basketball parts. I mean, we saw what we saw, right? And they did what they did. I I will comment on one thing, though. He said Jordan was condescending and they didn't get the proper credit. I want you guys to watch what Jordan did after winning uh, a finals MVP. We're a tandem. It's hard to split us up. He means a lot to me when I go out and play on the basketball court. He relieves a lot of the pressure that I have to deal with. I try to do the same for him. It's hard to take this MVP by myself. He's got to take half of it. I take the trophy. He may get the call. (laughs) I think that video pretty much speaks for itself. Here are some pictures of Scotty at his Hall of Fame uh, induction where he asked Jordan to present him. Who he, uh, who Jordan did, obviously, and it looked pretty chummy right here. Clearly, Pippen has zero credibility. But let me get to my point. Instead of trashing Pippen, going at him for the basketball stuff, I'm gonna pity him because he's just jealous and mentally weak. As an insecure person, which is what Pippen is, when he stands next to Jordan and Pippen knows he's weak and when and that he'll never measure up. So instead of accepting that, focusing on his strengths and his positives, because he has some, he would rather try and take some shine off of Jordan to try and lower him down to the level and try to make himself look better. Try to make himself look just as good as Jordan or try to make us look at Jordan differently. But I got news for you, Scotty. It didn't work. In fact, a lot of us had respect for you and your game And I still respect your game, but I have very little respect for you right now as a person. And this has nothing to do with Jordan and everything to do with Pippen and his demons. I knew they were not best friends, and that's fine. People are teammates. They don't have to be best friends. All this time, he's been smiling in Jordan's face, but secretly hating on him behind his back. He is disloyal and two-faced, and that's some of the worst qualities a person can have. Now, he's going to sell some books, you know, good for him, but his hate comes with a high price. We always thought Pippen was a little mentally weak, and now he is proving to us how weak he really is. It sounds harsh, but I'm a facts over feelings type person. You tell me, what do you call someone that smiles in your face but secretly hates on you behind your back? And not because of anything you did to them, but just because of how they look standing next to you while you were just trying to do your best. All a man really has is his name, and now Pippin's name is trash. Real men address you directly if they have beef. They don't hide their feelings like some battered woman in the shadows. And I got something else to say. If you're one of these men out here that's co-signing what Scotty's doing, you need to take a good look in the mirror. Real grown men don't have these female qualities. You need to man up and put on some big boy draws. With that being said, I'm going to close it out right here. Now, am I wrong? Pippen has contradicted himself so many times over the years, there's no point even getting into the basketball stuff. But what do you guys feel about the rest of it? For me, Pippen is who I thought he was. Thought he was weak on the court sometimes mentally, and now I see he's the same way off the court. 
But you guys let me know if I'm wrong or I'm being too harsh. Put it in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.